Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I wanna to talk you through something that is not considered best practice, but can be very useful given certain circumstances. And that is the ability to point Playwright towards an existing instance of Chrome. So with that, let's get started. Why would you ever want to point Playwright at an existing instance of Chrome? The main time that it is helpful is when you have a very long end-to-end -end test and you want to tweak um, a method or a function over and over again, and it's just easier to point it back towards an existing instance of Chrome. And you don't have to launch a brand new instance of Chromium. I want to be very clear that this is not technically supported. This is a hack workaround solution that I found on the internet that we have used successfully. I also would love feedback from the community on whether or not there's a better way of doing this. That's the goal. I'm going to show you it and we're going to go from there. But to point Playwright towards an, an existing instance of Chrome, it's actually fairly simple. You go to your terminal, you basically run this command on a Mac. It's going to open up Chrome in debug. In this case, we're going to point to guest. The whole point is that you're not launching an instance of Chromium and navigating from a blank thing. You're going to be pointing to an existing Chrome instance. Now, the other thing about Chrome is I don't think you can run Chrome normally while you're running Chrome in debug. So that is just one area to be aware of. At this point, we're going to look at our code. It's going to be slightly different. We're going to be launching the browser using connect over CDP. And this 922 is, I believe, Chrome's debug port. And then we run the test like you would normally run the test. The main difference is that it's going to point to this instance, right? So what this is going to look at is it's going to find the text canary release, and it's going to expect the next page has connecting to playwright to Chrome, which is, I believe, going to uh, fail because it's not actually going to do that. And we can go ahead and run that test right there. It runs and it immediately fails. But the benefit is it didn't fail because it failed to see the browser or failed to click. It failed because the expect wasn't what it expected, right? It, it, it expected this and it received installation playwright. So let's go and just replace that. Uh, that is assuming that I can type. Great. And then let's go back to Chrome, right? So we're back to this instance of Chrome and let's click on docs because we have to reset it, right? This is not gonna start fresh. And once again, this is not best practice and, and there's a reason why, but it's worth knowing how to do. So we're gonna run it again. It's gonna run and it passed, right? And it used an existing instance of Chrome, not supported formally by any means. There is some great stuff on the blogs about it. In certain use cases, specifically when it comes to debugging a function and you just wanna rerun a method over and over again to make sure that it works and play with it in different ways, it can be really nice to not have to wait for Chromium to spin up run through everything. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like and subscribe if you like it. Uh, check out workwithloop.com and the blog for more QA resources. Thanks. Talk soon. See ya.